Hey guys, welcome back to Almost Inevitable Design. And although I am, I have a lot of stuff to do, and <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff to do, but and I'm also in the middle of recording and putting together a whole course on CSS. Um, I've had a couple of requests for from people about a header, and one of them was uh, this header here, and I thought it was um, it was intriguing, so. In the midst of all that work, I just decided to get this done because it's relatively simple. All right, so this is actually pretty easy to do because it's just CSS, which is quite surprising. Well, not the full thing. I'll explain later. So uh, someone sent me this website, which looks pretty nice, right? Does what it does, and it's designed uh, to fit the 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 website. The the client, right? So looks pretty nice. Um, we're not going to talk about this because this is a whole new uh, search function. So we're not going to do that. What I am going to do is allow you to have two menus like this and have an overlapping um, logo. All right. Now this website I found is um, oh, you can't see it is Divi. Yeah, it's Divi. There's a Divi child and it's a, uh, it's Divi. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, right? Now, oh, shoot. Um, so the way that this was built is it's a little different from what I was planning. So I'll explain how this is built. So it, it uses, it doesn't have a top menu. All right. It doesn't have the, the, Top most like this menu, all right. So I'll get back to this later, all right. So, oh, in the meantime, I'll reset that, all right. So um, it doesn't have that, and what it does have is the main menu, all right. Main menu, and that's the main header, and then you have the main menu, um, and the logo is technically sticking down, and underneath that is another uh, uh, horizontal uh, div section, all right? So it's a little different from this. Right now, what we have, Divi usually has a top banner, top menu section here, and then, an, and then the header here, and you have the logo here, right? So it's a little different from that, as you can see, right? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use so like I said, this part, this what you see here, the regular white header, that becomes this part on this website. And they added an extra section here. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this header instead of that, and then use the top most, uh, top, uppermost, top banner, secondary menu section as this part, okay? So it'll look pretty much the same. Uh, it won't have this part, this search function, but that's something totally different, so we can talk about that later, maybe, but that's it, right? So um, that means you can actually use this from your regular menu, okay? Alrighty, so whoever did this, good job. I'm gonna do it a little differently, so now we get into this, all right? So uh, here's the default uh, Divi logo, right? And there you go, there you go, yep, yep, everything's where it should be, like that. All right, now, I'm gonna take that out. Okay, now, um, what we're gonna do is we need a logo. Now, this logo is not large enough, so we're gonna add a logo, all right, and upload, and this is the logo. Now, as you can see, this is pretty large, 450 by 450, it doesn't have to be this large, but um, it's just large enough just so we have it enough file image to to you know go beyond the, the header all right so um, reload this and this is what we get we get the regular size right now this height is 54 okay we're gonna make this larger now there's a couple of things that we need to do to make this overlap over here and just stick out all the way. A couple of things. And we're gonna start doing that, all right? So now, um, 
let's start with this logo. All right, so let's start with the logo. Uh, logo, I do have all the uh, CSS typed out, um, and you, you'll be able to, to, to copy paste it, but I'm just gonna go through the stuff, all right, just so you know uh, what's going on. And just as a sample, pretty much, of um, my courses, the CSS course that I'm making. It'll be way more detailed than this, but I'm just gonna go through with all the stuff right here. So max height, that's the main problem here because it's 54. We'll make that 200. All right, and that gives us uh, this size. Now the thing is, because this is all because we want this to overlap over uh, both the top header and the main header. Oh, well, that's what they're named: the top header and the main header. Uh, because we want them to overlap both of them, we need um, a stacking context that is. That will over that will overlap the top header. All right, so that means because because right now uh, everything is inside page container, that means we can actually give the top header, oops, the top header a z index of one, and the main header. Like I said, this is all um, stuff that you will learn. In the CSS course, I go through all this in very, very detailed uh, explanations on everything from the stacking order and everything, because it's not just Z index. You can't change it to 10 million and have things on top, because it doesn't work that way. So, yeah. Anyway, so this means that now the top header and the main header are in their own stacking, are following the stacking context from the page container, and then we can drill down to. Drill down into the logo container. Oops. Yep. And we're going to push this guy up to around here. Now the top header is 30 pixels high, as you can see. So we're not going to go all the way to the top, which would be 30 pixels. So we're going to go only, we're going to leave a little bit of space up there. So top, let's go with negative 27, 20, 24 pixels. And I've already done this before because I've tested it, and I know the width will be 160 uh, for the logo, and you need a little bit more space, so you need 164, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna give it a little bit of, um, you know, breathing room and give it 140 just so it works, all right? So um, that, and another thing is, one of these guys have a Z index of, I think this guy has a Z index of 99, so we're gonna give this guy a Z index of 100. All right, so this will give us this, as you can see. Yep, that's all good. Um, and of course, if you wanna change the size, change the max height for the logo. If you wanna change the gap here, uh, change that. If you want it to be touching the top, make it negative 30 and all that, all right? So if the width, you gotta check, check the width because right now this logo is, um, the image itself is 160, as you can see, right? It's 160, oh, that's too, there we go, 160, right? But you need a little bit of space because I don't know why, but it has, I think it has a little bit of padding or um, whatever there, I don't know. Uh, so that's why it has it's, it. it need, you need two more pixels, and I just gave it a little more. So that's all fine, right? That's how that works. And if you want to adjust stuff, then you know where to do it. That's why I'm explaining this, all right? Now, it's fine because the logo shrinks, so it looks good, right? It looks good. Now the only thing is, we want it to look good on the mobile. Um, mobile view, right? So here it's all pushed up to the top and stuff and we can of course add a media query, right? So media all and I'll just go with um, phone sizes, max width 479 is what we're using and you need two brackets. Um, we're gonna have to change these two all right, so, 
Yep. And of course, we're gonna go with something like zero here. Uh, width doesn't really matter, Z index doesn't matter. We're gonna leave that there, we can take it out. It doesn't really matter because it gets it from the cascade here, right? Uh, logo, let's get it over 100. 100 means, 100% means 100% of the header, okay? So if you want a little smaller than the header, you can go with something like 80, all right? And that gives us that. There you go. So that's how you make a cool new header. Yep. That overlaps and everything. Yep, 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 yep. All right, now, um, all you need to do is just copy paste this into your custom CSS. The way that I am using this right now is I, um, the sample build has this main CSS, main.css file enqueued in the, in the loading sequence. So this loads and it works. All right, so uh, I'll leave this code for you to use. And of course, you, can, you need to edit the stuff here. And I think that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. It's actually really simple to do, and you might enjoy it. So I will see you in another video. And of course, come check out the course, sign up for the newsletter to get a special uh, offer, discount and all that stuff. And I will maybe see you in another video, another tutorial, or maybe in the course, all right? So um, stick around. Thanks, bye-bye.